everyone welcome back to another video and i'm going to give you a brief tour of, in my review of the 2023 dodge ram 1500 quad cab this is my rental um i got this from thrifty for only 29 dollars a day it was one of those things where it's a magic special you get what they give you for 29 dollars a day now all i wanted was a subcompact but because there's evidently a shortage of cars down here, this is what they gave me for $29 a day. Normally this thing would cost you over $1,000 a week with taxes. I'm paying just over $400. But here it is. It's a Ram 1500. Red. Some pretty decent tires. It is a six cylinder. I don't know, I guess this is the Warlock model. I'm usually not a pickup truck guy. I'm more of a Jeep guy, but same company. Here it is. No bed liner in there, but, you know, it's a rental, so, you know, don't really need one. Now, I don't know if this is a rental thing or if Chrysler still knows, but what I like about this, still got a key. It's not a fob. Spacious back seat. Cup holders there. Back climate control. My daughter loves this truck. She was like, Matt, uh, she's like, Daddy, can you, uh, when you retire, can you get one of these? Because she misses my old Chevy Tahoe. This is what the inside looks like. About an 8 inch LCD screen. Plenty of storage. This is pretty cool right here. Storage there. Storage there. Storage there. Check out this right here. Plenty of places to uh, charge your phone. Three big cup holders. Another place to charge your phone. 12 volt here. Our regular gauge is nothing digital, which, you know, I kind of like. I kind of like that. Uh, no mirrors here. There's one there. No light. Who gives a crap? Adjustable rear view mirror. There's your digital display. There's your gauge right there. Steering wheel controls to control the gears. Um, let's see. I don't think this is have cruise control. No, nope, doesn't have cruise control. Which you know, I don't really care about anyway. Your basic AM/FM radio does come with satellite, which is cool. Parking brake button here. Your four wheel drive system here. We don't, don't need it in South Carolina. Your GPS through your phone, which I like very much. I'm still old school. I still got the old uh, garment on the windshield there. Have you seen my previous video? Oh, never mind. It does have cruise control right here. I just realized it. Still getting no Best truck. Of course, Bluetooth came with the truck. We've programmed our phones for the week here. And uh, overall, it is... I am not a Chrysler person. Even though I'm, I love my Jeeps, Wranglers. Particularly the Wranglers. But considering this thing only has about 4,200 miles on it, I can live with it for, for a week. Uh, very smooth ride. Remind me of my old Chevy Tahoe. Very spacious, very pleasant to drive. I mean, the turning race is not like driving my Jeep Wrangler, my Ford Focus, or my wife's Hyundai Elantra. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Or even my Honda CRV, but it's a truck. Regular cloth interior. Uh, typical Chrysler, though, though, with the uh, cheap plastics. 
this is a little padded here, a little padded here. But, you know, it's nice looking plastic, but it's cheap. But it is the basic model, but, you know, at the same time, when you, uh, <laughs> when you're spending about 30, 40 grand a trunk, uh, should your uh, plastics be cheap? Power windows, locks and mirrors, standard and every car. Car today, this is what I hate. I hate these knobs. This whole thing here. I'm an old school guy. You know, the, the safety feature is, you know, you got to hit the brake for uh, to turn it. But I hate these knobs. I'm an old school column shift guy, floor guy. And you know, for my videos, I love driving stick shift. I love absolutely driving stick shift. So stuff like this. I don't, I don't really care for, I see, it's the, for a rental, it's the only negative about the truck I could give you this week, I've only, I've put on about <coughs> 238 miles on it, overall for a rental, this has been the best rental I've ever had in my life, <laughs> this thing has been very, very sweet, now when, you, when you're expecting nothing but a subcompact and they give you a uh, full-size four-door pickup truck, uh, yeah, and you pay the price of a subcompact. Yep, that's a good rental. I mean, the only other rental I could name maybe that was I, I was really ever excited about was the time I had a PT Cruiser convertible. Ironically, another Chrysler product, but that was all blacked out with a black top, and that was nice also. But by name, my daughter's telling me, hey, I think when you retire, you should get one of these things. <laughs> and after driving this for a week, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a I admit, I'm kind of getting a new car itch again. I haven't had that in over 20 years. Basic window. There's no slider back there. Uh, not a big deal to me anyway. <clears throat> but overall, very smooth ride. Uh, I've been averaging, I think, about 17 miles to the gallon so far with this. Which, you now for a full-size truck in a six-cylinder, it's not bad. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. Let me know if you have any questions on the truck. Uh, I've had it since, uh, let's see, we got here. Today's Monday. My fourth day with it. I have it for another, for another three days. So there you go. This was the 2023 Dodge Ram 1500 Classic Warlock Edition, I think they call it, pickup truck.